Hey everyone, there is this crazy new AI video framework that lets you create long videos right on your consumer PC using image to video generation. And for that, no supercomputer needed. Today, we are diving into Framepack, a groundbreaking AI system that's changing how we make videos. So I'm going to show you two ways to run it locally through the original project's Gradio UI and in Comfy UI. First, what exactly is Framepack? So it's a new AI system developed by researchers Alvimin Zhang and Manish Agrawal. Fun fact, some open source AI users might recognize Alvimin from his ControlNet and IC LED light projects. Unlike traditional video AI models that eat up your GPU memory, Framepack frame is designed to run smoothly on everyday hardware. Even a gaming laptop with just 6 GB of VRAM. That's right. You don't need a data center to create smooth 30 FPS videos. So here is why this is such a game changer. Most video generation models slow down as videos get longer because they process every frame the same way, chewing through resources. Framepack flips this with something called constant length context compression. Basically, it squeezes video data into a fixed size so your computer's workload stays the same no matter how long your video gets. It's like turning a marathon into a sprint for your PC. So what makes Framepack special? First, it's crazy efficient generating videos on computer GPUs like an RTX 4090 in just 1.5 to 2.5 seconds per frame. Second, it solves a huge problem in video AI called drifting, where videos get weird over time, using a clever trick called bidirectional sampling to keep things sharp. Plus, it has this patchifying kernel that smartly decides which frame need more attention, making better videos without overloading your system. And the best part, it comes with an easy desktop script. Just download and you are ready to create. Now, we are going to test this out using two installation methods. First up is the super simple standalone version. So first download the standalone package for Windows users from the project link. So this is a compressed file about 2 GB in size containing all necessary components. Then comes the second step. Unzip the downloaded file to reveal these five key files. Next step is first time setup. You have to click on run.bat and open this file. This will automatically download all required models about 15 GB in total and launch the Gradio interface at a local URL. So when I first clicked run.bat, the Gradio UI popped up while silently downloading all the necessary files in the background. By the time I started recording this video, everything was already set up and ready to go. The interface comes with a light theme by default. The workflow is straightforward. Drop an image, the most important setting video length in seconds default is 5 seconds but you can push it to 60 seconds like the github demo or even 120 seconds which is 2 minutes if you are patient enough i had not tried the full 2 minutes before recording this so we are gonna test 30 seconds live for our first test i am using 25 steps CFG scale at 10, 6 GB VRAM allocation. You can tweak these based on your GPU. Use more VRAM if you have it or 
stick to 6 GB if you are tight on resources. The settings even warn you, highest numbers prevent out of memory errors but slow things down. There is also this TC tensor catching checkbox, great for prototyping but not ideal for final quality. TC speeds up rendering by catching frames but results often look less detailed. When I tested it, TC gave me this weird scary twin head effect where the character kept duplicating. While turning it off, created smooth, natural motion. So definitely keep TC off for production quality videos. So for our first real test, I am using an image of a tiger and the prompt is the tiger dances gracefully with clear movements full of charm. So let's see what happens when I hit generate. So when you click start generate, you'll see the process kick off in the command prompt window. First loading the Hunian video transformer models, then preserving that 6 GB of VRAM we set aside. On the Gradio interface, you'll see the progress bar move while the next latent preview shows the AI constructing each frame step by step. It's not the final polished image yet, but, but you can already see how the tiger's ex moves are forming, the way his hands are moving and the steps are building. And here is our first result. A full 30 second video generated in one go. No stitching separate clips together. The AI animated his moves with all those steps we asked for, completely matching our text prompt. All this video has been generated on 6 GB of VRAM. So now let's switch to Comfy UI. The setup is slightly more involved but offers more control. First, you will need the frame pack wrapper nodes from GitHub. So first go to Comfy UI's custom node and open in command. Clone the custom nodes repository. Now you have to go to frame pack folder and type pip install minus r requirements.txt. So this installs about 500 MB of dependencies including optimized attention modules. So let's talk about how to get everything set up for this workflow. First, you'll need to download the VAE file and place it in the Comfy UI's VAE folder. Now, for the text encoder, you have got two options, Llama FP8 or Llama FP16 and you'll choose based on your system's VRAM. Just pick the one that works best for you and save it in your Comfy UI's models text encoder folder. Also, you can use the text encoder and VAE files as you used in Hunian video in this as well. Next up, there is a file named Cclip Vision 384 and this one goes straight into the Comfy UI Clip Vision folder. Don't worry, I'll make sure you know where everything belongs. Now, for the diffusion model, there are two single models available for download. One is FP8 and the other one is BF16. These go into the Comfy UI's diffusion model folder. You can grab either one depending on your system. I have actually tested both and honestly the results are pretty similar whether you use BF16 or FP8. But if you are after speed, FP8 is a solid choice. You can compare them side by side here to see what I mean. So once you have got those files in place, 
It's time to fire up Comfy UI. Select your model. I went with BF16 and set the attention mode to SDPA. For the clip vision, you'll need to select the clip vision patch file you downloaded earlier. This is the same file you used in Flux. For the text encoder, you'll pick either Llama 3 FP16 or FP8, just like you did for generating Hunyan videos. And here is a pro tip for faster generation. Connect the torch compile setting to the load frame pack model. This little tweak can save you some time. If you are working with lower VRAM, you can drop the steps down to 15. But I would recommend sticking with 25 for the best results. That said, I have set mine to 30 just, just to push it a bit. Alright, so now that we have got all the files and settings in place, first things first, make sure tcache is set to true. This speeds things up, but just a heads up, you might notice a tiny bit of motion loss. It's a trade-off, but totally worth it for the extra speed. Next up, set your CFG scale to 1. This keeps things balanced, so your output doesn't go wild. For the video length, you can crank it all the way up to 120 seconds if you want. But for this test, I have set it to 10 seconds just to keep things quick. Now, here is a big one. Memory preservation. If you are working with lower VRAM like 8 GB, set this to 6. And if you have got 12 GB, bump it up to 10. Basically, this setting depends entirely on your system's VRAM. So adjust it accordingly. So it's time to test the workflow. All you gotta do is upload an image like this one which I have uploaded and add your prompt. For this demo, I have typed the warrior rides fiercely atop a massive white wolf wrapped in thick furs that whip in the wind, etc. And Let's just look at the results. So this is the result we have got and the warrior's first motion is flawless and smooth and the whole thing looks crazy realistic. The movement of the wolf is natural in the snow. The overall result is fabulous as quality, motion, everything are up to the mark. Seriously, I am impressed with how this turned out. And that's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Let me know in the comments if you want me to deep dive into any part of this workflow. I am happy to help. Thank you. Happy generating. Bye-bye.